Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode with the one and only Billy J. It's funny how life turns out. The odds of faith in the face of doubt. Camera one closes in. The soundtrack starts. The scene begins. This video we're doing one of those tag videos where we answer some questions about Valentine's Day. The first question is single or taken. Currently I am single. So all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. The next question is type or ideal guy. Now for me I personally don't have a type or ideal guy because I look beyond the superficial exterior of people. For me it matters what's on the inside not necessarily what's on the outside. Now I know I'm like a two on the hotness scale and this is what ugly people say but it's the truth. Physically, people change. Skinny people can become fat. Fat people can become skinny. People can lose their hair. People can get wrinkles. And people can get scars. We're not going to be all young and beautiful forever. In my opinion, everybody's beautiful. Not just on the outside, but also on the inside. You know, beauty is not just the exterior. It's on the inside. That really matters. Now, I know that people can't see someone's personality, you know, especially like when they're walking down the street or like from a picture online or anything like that. For me, what really attracts me to someone is really in the face. You know, like hair doesn't matter to me, um, you know, body doesn't matter to me. When I see like a guy with a great body, I don't think, damn, I want that guy or anything like that. I think, damn, I wish I had a body like that. Like I said, what really attracts me to a person is in the face. It's usually like the eyes or the mouth. I really love a person with a beautiful smile and beautiful eyes. I like different people in Hollywood. You know, I know in Hollywood, you know, everyone's, you know, technically beautiful on the outside. When I like different guys in Hollywood. I like Seth Rogen, Michael Sarah, Bruce Willis, um, and that guy from, I don't know if you guys ever seen Step Up, the, the Step Up movie, you know, the dance movies. That, you know, they're trying to revive the dance movies from the 80s. Well, anyway, uh, in Step Up 2, there's a guy named Moose. His character's name is Moose. And I fell in love with that guy. And two of the hottest guys, in my opinion, from American Idol have been Lee DeWise and Chris Allen. What are my thoughts on Valentine's Day? Well, for me, Valentine's Day is a corporate holiday. It's one of those holidays to generate uh, business for uh, card makers, for candy makers, and the food business in general. So, it's no big deal for me being single. For me, it's just another day. For me, Valentine's Day is one of those days that, you know, kind of force couples to do something together. I think that any day in a relationship can be Valentine's Day for a couple. You know, just do, just doing special things for each other any day of the, you know, at least once a month I'd say to do something special, you know, go out to dinner and stuff like that with your significant other. My favorite Valentine's Day memory? But my favorite Valentine's Day memory was back when, like in grade school, you know, when, uh, when everybody got Valentine's Day cards from people, you know, they get a little heart saying, be mine, or I love you and stuff like that, you know. That, that That's a good time. You know, I wish, you know, people did that all throughout school. You know, even up in high school, you know, just give, you know, anybody and everybody Valentine's Day card. You know, so that, you know, single people don't feel left out. The next question is, describe your perfect date. Now, f this is definitely not the first date. So if my future boyfriend is watching this, please do not do this on the first date because it would be totally awkward. Not only would this be, t be awkward, but our first date would definitely probably be awkward because I am an awkward person to begin with. But this would be, you know, like sometime down the road in our relationship. Me personally, I'm like a hopeless romantic. I'd have never been to the prom at my high school. So for me, the most perfect date would be is if somehow my significant other uh, tried to replicate the prom. And it doesn't have to be lots of people because personally, like, I have, like, anxiety. So I do not like lots of people. Um, you know, I don't like going to the clubs and stuff like that, you know, because of all the people. Um, I do have, like, anxiety issues there. But, um, 
but something nice and simple uh, would go a long way for me. Like, especially if they hung up lights, the white lights, you know, like Christmas lights, not necessarily like the multicolored ones, but just the white ones, you know, and had up for banners saying like prom 2000, that was the year I graduated to the year 2000. You know, downloaded some music from the 90s and, and the year 2000 especially, and, uh, you know, played it and, you know, had maybe had a disco ball and stuff like that, and, you know, and like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, really fancy, you know, Definitely not too many people, you know, a few people is fine if you want to, but uh, but definitely just the two of us, uh, you know, dancing at this makeshift prom, that that to me would be the, uh, the most romantic thing anyone could ever do for me. Well, that is all for this Valentine's Day vlog, so uh, peace, love, unity, respect. Peace out, guys.